I typically stick to mountain biking, but using my mountain bike on the streets for cardio can be quite taxing. The setup, including the geometry, drivetrain, suspension, and wide tires, absorbs a lot of energy without offering much speed. That's why I sought out a lightweight and straightforward bike that would give me a good workout while still keeping up with my friends on their road bikes. Coming from the world of MTBs, this bike feels incredibly compact and light to me, weighing in at around 15 pounds, which is less than half of my mountain bike's weight. When I start pedaling, it just flies. Granted, you feel it on hills or rough terrain due to its single gear setup, but the bike's nimbleness and low rolling resistance make it manageable, and it provides a great workout. I had the choice between an aluminum frame and a steel frame from 6KU on Amazon, both similarly priced, but I went for the lighter option. Later on, I found out that steel bikes offer a smoother ride as they absorb vibrations better, but that's not a major concern for me. I'm accustomed to suspension bikes, so any road bike will feel a bit rough compared to what I'm used to. Adjusting to rim brakes took some time too. I'm used to hydraulic brakes, so these rim brakes feel quite weak in comparison. It's been years since I rode a bike with rim brakes, so I'm not sure if they're just average or if mine are subpar. I suspect they're not great because even after adjustments, they still feel lackluster, and the brake levers seem flimsy. Perhaps upgrading them might be worthwhile if I end up using this bike regularly, but I understand the appeal of keeping things minimalist, like a track bike. The idea seems to be to minimize mechanical components to reduce weight and potential failures during rides. Since this bike is primarily marketed as a fixed seat, those using it that way will likely ditch the brakes eventually, treating them as sort of training wheels until they feel confident in their fixie skills. I did try riding it as a fixie a couple of times. It's quite the experience. I can see why people find it fun and challenging, adding a new dimension to cycling. However, it goes against many of my instincts developed from mountain biking, making it a bit difficult for me to fully embrace without sacrificing some of my off-road riding habits. For instance, when I tried to hop a curb, my natural inclination to level the pedals almost sent me flying off the bike. Riding fixed gear requires constant reminders until it becomes second nature, and I'm not sure if the payoff is worth the effort for me at this stage. Nonetheless, it's a fantastic single-speed bike. It offers much better quality than what you'd find at Walmart or Target, at a fraction of the price, and since it lacks gears or extra mechanical parts, assembly is a breeze, taking around 30 minutes. Plus, aside from the occasional cleanup, it's virtually maintenance-free.